good, how are you? I'm really well, guys. Did you two text each other to decide what you were gonna wear? I love the suits. Wow. No, but we were so excited we, when we saw each other. We were we like, like, oh my gosh. We each. Because I respect so Diana's style so much. Uh, and same. so when I'm coming close to I was like, who makes? I love it. <laughs> you guys look awesome. Love, 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 love the suits. But listen, firstly, happy birthday to you. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday yeah, to you. you. Happy, hey, come on, Diana, help me out because I know you can sing. Happy birthday, dear Christine. Happy oh, birthday to you. Thank you. Thank you. They pick one girl and one boy for the contract for the Paris Opera Ballet. Light, leger. She's testing you. She's torturing me too. Anyone who partners with Felipe will be the better dancer. He's the key to the prize. Maybe you could help me. Do you always follow the rules? No. Prove it. Steve, what a celebration week for you. The film is out on Friday, birthday week as well. How exciting, how are you feeling? Oh my gosh, I'm, it's been really exciting seeing people again and getting to see the movie on a big screen and doing it with an audience and seeing how they're reacting and their interpretations. My friends were truly debating about, you know, what happened between Em and Ollie and who won. Mm. And like, there was just so many different interpretations and I hadn't talked to anyone about it beforehand. So it was really exciting getting to celebrate it all and, and, and see everyone, or a few. I mean, we're missing so many because of COVID. Yeah, no, but... no, of course. You kind of got shut down for like six months, didn't you? So. You literally went back home, didn't get to say goodbye to these characters that were carrying so much emotion and trauma and stress. Um, I'm just like wondering, like, um, Diana, like, did you hold on to Kate's energy? Or, yeah, like... pretty much. <laughs> um, it was a, uh, it was hard. I mean, it was really hard to let go of her after we finally did wrap too, because I feel like me, I became so close to Kate, you know, like I, I became Kate and Kate became me at a certain point and the lines were very blurry. Um, and I mean, I don't know, I, I, I really loved playing her and I loved getting to know her and like, she's a special, interesting, uh, challenging person and, and character to play. It was really hard to like sit with that for like six months in between and just being like how much of do I let this person like into my like life as I'm trying to just live as me in this weird pandemic? My heart is on fire. I'm gonna catch three and we're gonna both stop. Why should I trust you? One, two, three. These roles that you've taken on, I think they're probably the most demanding for you guys as actors, um, emotionally, physically. Um, Christine, I don't know if you've done ballet before, but there was that aspect as well. Yeah, no, I had never danced before, so I was very much in for a challenge, an exciting challenge. I was very out of tune with my body, so I was just really excited to get to explore that, just selfishly, but I, I did not know, I mean, I knew there was a lot of discipline involved, but I did not know the amount of training, and we only, I did it for like three months beforehand, and the schedule was hectic from morning to night, but, that's not close to what they actually do, yeah. you know? So it's just crazy, the amount of motivation. I'm just, I'm really inspired by their work ethic. Guys, I'm wondering, because there is this big thing in the film around body image and how these ballerinas are expected to be skinny and just like perfect, whatever that is. Did you guys, before you took on these roles, were you guys comfortable in your own skin, in your own bodies? No. no. <laughs> Snap, Say. Right away. Like, we also modeled yeah. I don't know if that affected you. We talked yeah, about no, it. Yeah, no, it did. Like, I, I was a tennis player, like, my whole life, and super competitive. I was, I'm like tall, thin, whatever, like, strong. And it was only when I started modeling that all of a sudden I was, like, told that there was something wrong with my body. Like, I never thought there was anything, like, wrong. I was like, I'm an athlete. Like, I'm strong. I look great. You know, I feel good. It was never yeah. about, like, what I looked like. Right. And so it was really weird to be like, I'm, I was like, I need to lose weight? Like, what? That it like blew my mind and it was like weird it took it, you know it's like something that will always like probably always affect me which sucks but I mean this film obviously like brought a lot of that out which works for the character obviously in the world that we were in but like sucked on a personal level yeah. <laughs> you made me think we were actually friends I would never purposefully hurt you it's always been about sex blood money it's all that matters
the other part as well guys is popularity you know the film tackles that as well and you guys you know on social media you know people adore you you're like queens you have millions of followers um i kind of insta stalked you a little bit checked out your socials and it was really refreshing actually you have like fun moments silly moments no makeup having fun also you really advocate for the things that you believe in you use your social media in like such a positive way which i love and you have the fashion moments too christine um I feel like everybody wants to know everything now and you know as actors in in the industry this is another part of your job now I mean how do you feel about social media I mean I I have a tricky I guess you did maybe too a tricky relationship with it and in one way it, it's helped me a lot when I'm struggling if I'm struggling with either depressive thoughts or if I'm feeling low and I, I scroll through someone or I hear a story that I really resonate with it helps me throughout my day so I follow a lot of like mental health pages mm. um, and then it's just fun to see what your friends are doing and to just not take it so seriously it's yeah. it's very can be very self-promotional and can be you can start comparing yourself and get, it can turn into a negative spiral but I think there's a lot of positives to be found yeah, too yeah I think like it's easy to to see the negative like yeah there's a lot of aspects about social media that are really stressful and like never search your name on any social media platform oh. because that's you're just asking for chaos yes um but and like don't scroll down the comment like you will always because someone could you can read a million nice things and read one mean thing and just be like crushed you know because people forget that like you're a human being all the time like people forget the, the humanity of just like a, 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 a 24 a 26 year old like on instagram just like living life you know and so unnatural so it's like and the whole thing is it's all very strange but on the other side like it's a you get to kind of control you there's more control over your image you know if someone there's which is kind of nice and you, there's more freedom to express yourself like this you, is you do get to share things that yeah. aren't you know informative or like an uh, uh, like with christine was saying like sharing reading something that helps you get out of a depressive thought like th yeah. that's a beautiful that's that's the flip side of it too you know like i follow this account moon omens and it's like all these like positive manifestations yeah, i love yeah. following cute dog accounts on my instagram it brings joy to me <laughs> this, this is our sacred oath. You know Doing the prize together. You know not at all. You win or not? I mean. You guys are really exciting to watch on screen, and this film really showcases you in a way that people probably have never seen you guys before. Um, your lovely director, Sarah, adores you. She made these roles for you. I was talking to her earlier. That video, by the way, is also on the channel, guys. You can check it out. But um, doing such demanding roles, has it made you guys realize that actually, we can kick some serious ass. Maybe we're capable of so much more than we thought. For sure, we were. yes, for There's sure. There's like a fine line in this career of being like self-assured and versus like feeling like a weird arrogant yeah. weirdo like you know what I mean like there's a very fine line and like it's like this is a moment where it's like I did this like heck yeah you know like yeah we, we did this thing that every was really, step of the really way hard. we were consistent and like we yeah. can like we're capable yes. you know what I mean yes. of so much more yes. and like I'm I'm really grateful that I was even given the opportunity to like play something like this to do something like this because it's really easy for people to put you in a box and be like oh now you're this thing and like this is one of those moments where it's like actually no I'm not that thing right. I might be something else and maybe I'll be something else next year you know and it's like yeah so it's, it's a cool I thing I love you guys your energy guys high-fiving the suit sisterhood this is yes. so lovely to experience and see um guys so nice to talk to you both um good luck with the film it's out on Amazon tomorrow Birds of Paradise um and have an amazing week speak to you soon thank, thank you. you thanks for great energy oh.